Hi, everybody. Today we're going to do exercise six, live paint bucket. And let me show you uh, what it's supposed to look like. So we are going to create something like this. And I'll show you how you can manipulate images and create uh, something like this using the paint bucket that is available in Illustrator. The paint bucket in Illustrator works a little bit differently. So what we are gonna do first is, okay, I have all of these images available to you and these are all under uh, the Illustrator page. So click on Snap Fashions. Actually, don't click on the PDF one. Go ahead and save the AI file. And once you've saved it, open it and you're going to have this. So we're going to use three different outfits. I mean, six different outfits. We're going to make full outfits out of these. So go ahead and go to File New and open a landscape page. And now we're going to just pick out something from here. Let me just go to this. So you're going to go to your selection tool, select whichever outfit you want. I'm just gonna select this one. Actually, I'll select these two. I'll copy them, go to my blank page and I'll paste them and we'll put them separately. So we have that, that, and we're gonna put one more. And for that one, I'll take this one. Okay, I'll copy this one as my third top and paste it here. And now I need three bottoms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up those three. Okay. So we'll make those go together, those go together. That looks like the back. I'm gonna delete that one and go pick up this skirt. Okay, I think I'll use this outfit together and this together. All right, so we have our six outfits. Now uh, we're going to use paint bucket, but I'm gonna, let's get this a little bigger. All right, so you guys can see everything. I'll have my swatches and brushes here and I'll zoom that in a little bit. So you guys can see what's, we are working on. So we're going to start working on this first one. So I'll zoom that in a little more. So, um, so you can see that the lines are pretty good here, but if you feel like you want to be able to see it better, you can just select it and go to stroke and you can make them two if you like. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it at one. Okay. Now um, to use paint bucket, we can create designs, we can make this a little bit different. Um, you can use either your line tool or your pen tool. So I'm going to use the line tool. And I am going to do this. Now when you're making it, don't start here because then you'll have a gap. Think about paint bucket from Photoshop, you want to make sure there are no gaps so that it doesn't leak. So I'm going to do this. One of you guys made some sweater like this in my apparel production class. So I'm going to make that for this one. And let's see. And if you get out of this, you might want to check to see if you have any gaps here. And if you do, you can always go to your line and extend it a little bit. So we can always do this. Okay, I think it's good. Uh, for the bottom, you can do the same, but let's just paint this one first. So um, if I try to go to paint, paint bucket is right here. You may have that shape builder showing. So go down, live paint bucket is here. Okay, now select that. Now, if I try to paint this and the swatches are going to show here, let me just 
So, okay, I want to just make my page a little bigger. Okay. So we have our swatches here. Um, you can just select a color. For example, let's make it pink. If you just push it, oops, sorry, we have to select this. Okay. Um, okay, go to paint bucket, select the color here. Now, if I put this, Okay, we're working on this one. I go to paint bucket. Um, now, if I push this here, it's going to paint just the sleeves separately. Um, but if I do it here, it's going to only paint the original body. It won't recognize our lines. So to make the paint bucket recognize our lines, what we need to do is select this image. Live paint make. Okay. Now I go to my paint bucket. Okay. Now you see that everything is now separated. So I'm going to go ahead and select my separate colors. So I'm going to make this pink. I'm going to go and select this color for here and my sleeves. And then I'm going to go select this color for here and here. Okay, so um, this is done. You can select something for that section as well. All right, I really like this color. I'll just change that to like. Okay, just to make it look like it's the inside. Now on the jeans, we can do the same thing. So I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to draw a couple lines. So I'll go like this. I just want to make sure that I am lining up with here. Um, I think the lines that we have on here, all the other lines are 0.5. So I'm gonna make that a one to match the top. All right, so this line here, I need to extend it just a little bit to close the gap. All right, now I'm going to make one more line here to match the top. Then I'll make one like that. Okay. I'm just trying to make them a little more parallel to each other. All right, so I think that's good. Now I'm gonna go to my selection tool, select those pens, go to object, live paint, make. Now that I have it, I can go to my paint bucket and then I'm gonna go select my colors. So I'll go here and then what color did we make this other one? Blue. Okay, so we'll make this. And then I think I'll make all of these blue. All right, and then the bottom part, I'm gonna make it yellow, just like the top. And we are done. Maybe we can use a little darker color just on here. Okay. All right, so we'll zoom out. 
So you can see that we've done that. So let's start working on this again. If I try to select the color, I mean, you have to make a selection before you do anything, but I'm gonna, uh, you can also use the pen. So let's just try to use the pen. So for this one, I can actually go kind of like this if I want to have uh, a curve, okay. And escape from it, and also make sure you get rid of the. Okay. Now um, I can do another one like that. Okay. I think that's good. All right, so that's good. Um, so now I need to, and if you need to adjust them, you can always go to your um, direct selection tool and try to move the lines a little bit. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna spend too much time on this. So I'm gonna go to my selection tool. I'm gonna select the whole thing, go to object, live paint, make, and now you can go to your paint bucket and now you can select your colors. You can also put patterns here. So I'm going to go here, select a pattern. Um, I'm going to select some basic graphics or textures. So let's just try these. I'm going to see what that one comes up with. OK, I want to make those two like that. and. I'm going to make here. Actually, I'm going to use these on the sleeves. And then I'm going to go use a black on here. OK. OK, I'm just going to leave it. Let's see. OK, I'm going to make it like this. So now for this one, let's use a pen again for this. And I'm just going to do this. Okay, escape. I'm gonna make this. You can also do this. Let me see. So since I did that and I'm gonna unselect the pattern, um, you can also copy and paste that line. Okay, I'm just gonna do this and then put it right here. Okay. I think now they match a little bit better. So now I'm going to go ahead and select this, go to object, live paint make. And now I go to the paint bucket and I'm gonna select similar colors. So I'm gonna first select black to, to do the sides. Um, did we use this? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use that in the middle. And on the sides, on the pockets, I'm going to use, nope, that wasn't it. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You can also do the strings. You can use black on the strings. Okay. Um, so that's it. And then we're going to do this one. For this, we can again, um, use the line. 
and go down and then I'm going to come down here and then I'll do the same thing here and I'll do that okay um, again if you like you can always just select your image and change the stroke a little bit make it one I'll do the same thing here make them all one and now what I need to do is select this go to object live paint make and I go to my paint bucket paint bucket and now we can just paint everything so since this has that kind of pattern maybe I can make this black and then this side we can pick a pattern no okay we'll do it like that and then on this one i'm going to use the same here oh we haven't done that yet so we have to go select this one go to object live paint make now we go to our paint bucket i think i'm going to make the top part black and this part we're going to choose oops i forgot which one i selected again oh yeah okay i'll make the bottoms like this and i'll select my black to fill out all these spots in black. Okay. All right, so we are done. Uh, let's just put these on the side. We'll zoom out a little bit. Again, zoom in, zoom out. Remember, Command Plus or Control Plus will zoom you in. And command minus or control minus will zoom you out. If you want to have that hand tool and move things, you can also push the space bar and it will allow you to do this. Um, all right, so this is all, and I'm going to go ahead and save this as exercise six live paint bucket. Illustrator exercises. Size so six live paint buckets. Okay, guys, we are done for this exercise. I'll see you in exercise seven.